can imagine my frustration when I found out East Texas Tech had faculty meetings that I was not allowed to attend. Excuse me. Not that I didn't try. Goodbye, Sheldon. Darn it! Sheldon, out! Aww. You're an irritating young man and won't leave me alone. That's rude. Out. So how was it? Did any subcommittees get formed? No, Sheldon. It was just a budget meeting. Ooh, budgets. Do tell. Most of it was about reducing the gen ed science requirement from eight credits to four. But that's less science classes. Who would want that? Apparently, the administration, the students, and their parents. Did anyone try to stop it? No. Did it spark a heated debate? Not really, no. Were you at least annoyed? Do I sound annoyed? Yes. Well, there you go. I can't believe the faculty is okay with this. It just means students who aren't science majors need to take one class instead of two. But that's 50% less. Sheldon, this doesn't affect you. Less science affects all of society. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm good at making things all about me. Yes, I have picked up on that. Sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. I understand. You're just a cog in the machine. In fact, why am I talking to you? Feel free to stop. And do you really want to be the president of a university that is responsible for the dumbing down of scientific discourse on this campus? I totally agree with you. You do? Oh, it's an outrage. I came here to make this school the Harvard of East Texas. Not the... What, what's your least favorite school? MIT. Not the MIT of East Texas. Nice dig at MIT. Well, they deserve it. So you're going to keep the science requirements the same? If it were up to me, yes. But you're the president. Everyone has a boss, Sheldon. Now, unfortunately, I have to answer to the Grand Chancellor. Oh, I've never heard of him. Oh, well, he definitely exists. Perhaps I should speak with him. I appreciate that, but this is my fight. Win or lose, and I'll probably lose, but I am going to go down swinging. I promise you that. Can I help? Absolutely. I need you to put together a report backing up our position. Charts, graphs, the whole shebang. Hmm. Charts and graphs of what? Am I helping you or are you helping me? Uh, of course. I'll figure it out. I know you will. Okay, now get out of here. You have a lot of work to do. Yes, ma'am. It makes me thirsty. The Chancellor said no? Did he even look at my report? He did. He was impressed, but it didn't change his mind. After all our hard work. I know. Bummer. But hey, we gave it our best shot, so time to move on, right? Absolutely not. Are you sure? Because it feels like time to me. We have to keep fighting. If Antony von Leeuwenhoek had given up, where would we be? Where would we be? In a world without microscopes. Because that guy invented them? Boy, did he. At least the first modern microscope. He's known as the father of microbiology. I have a good book on him I could loan you. Anyway, we can't give up. Hey, you are preaching to the choir, but I mean, what can we do? I could write to some science luminaries, try to get them on our side. Stephen Hawking, Carl Sagan, not Antony von Leeuwenhoek. He's dead. All right, but just on the off chance that they're too busy to reply, I think that you should get out there on campus, talk to students, change their minds. One-on-one? -on -one? That could take months. Great. <laughs>